when you're dead broke, and this is, you know, one of the main summaries I wanted to put in this video too that I got in my notes. When you are dead broke, that is your true colors. That's who you are truly are. I didn't say that right. That's who you truly are. When you're dead broke and you can't pay something and you're angry because you can't pay a bill, how are you going to react? Are you going to go out and steal? Are you going to go out and rob? You know, you might be angry. You might be sad. Are you going to, you know, do those things? Or are you going to do another thing? Are you going to, you know, lay, lay in bed and just let life just keep socking you in the mouth? Because if you let life keep smacking you in the face, it's going to keep smacking you in the face over and over and over and over again. Because those are the lessons it is trying to teach you. You too, man. What a do. Welcome back to the channel. Got another video for y'all today. And this is a very good video, man. I try to make, man, for anybody, for any advice for any YouTubers, man, make every video your best video. Every video needs to top the last video. And that's what I try to do. And this video is going to be a banger. So this video is going to be about the benefits of being dead broke. And I, bro, I just be thinking of ideas in my head and they be sounding good. And then I, I write them down and then I turn on the camera and it's just like, it's just like a masterpiece. So this is going to be another masterpiece. And I, I was thinking about making this video and it's a lot of things I want to touch on. Hopefully I get to them all. Now, let's get into this video, man. The summary, as I was doing my notes, and I wanted to make the, the main focus and the main summary about this, man. Hard times are always going to create strong men. That, that's the way it's going to go, and that's anything in your life. Hard times is going to make you a strong man. With that being said, after you get through these hard times, these situations, you know, you think the world is just, you know, about to come to an end. You think you just have the worst life, man. It's always light at the end of the tunnel. And once you change your mindset, once you realize, you know, that after you go through all these, you know, moments where you ain't have shit, moments where you at the bottom, moments where, you know, a shorty left you, it's always going to be brighter on the other side that's when you start seeing the benefits of this. So, without getting too off topic, man, we're going to talk about the benefits of being that broke. Like I said, I did write notes, but I might, you know, not go in order. So, if you see me looking down, it's because I wrote notes. Now, first thing I'm going to say is this, man. Like I said, all of these things are teaching you lessons and are teaching you how to be a better person at the end of it. With me, man, I suck at money management. I suck at spending my money wisely. And I I watched this video, man. I think I forgot his name. Brad Lee. Brad Lee said it. Shout out to Brad Lee. He said, man, once you start making a whole bunch of money and you haven't, you know, changed your spending habits and you keep spending recklessly. You know, just because you have a lot of money just doesn't mean you're you're not going to be broke. If that makes sense. Yeah, I probably didn't word it right. But I now believe that because, you know, I started working at FedEx probably. It's been a year already. Started working at FedEx a year, making a thousand dollars a week, man. That's a lot of money. And I was just spending it, not saving nothing, not saving a penny. Just, you know, spending, spending all on tattoos I, I did make a couple of smart investments, but majority of the things I, you know, spent money on was dumb. And I was making a lot of, well, to me at that time, I was making a lot of money. And before that, I was making $400 a week. I was making $400 a week and somehow still managed to, you know, save up money, you know, manage my money wisely. So with this being said, you need to learn how to manage your money. And that's one of the lessons I learned from being dead broke. And one of the benefits from being dead broke is you're going to learn that. And a funny thing is, man, 
if you believe in God or not, but I do. God is going to keep, you know, just putting lessons out. Keep putting lessons out no matter what it is. You might keep messing with a girl. She keep cheating on you. You keep getting cheated. Lessons are going to keep happening in your life. And to me, man, it's been money. Recently, it has been money because I keep seeing the same pattern over and over again. So being that broke is going to teach you how to manage your money. Just because... Don't think when you get rich, you're just, you know, automatically going to know how to manage money. No worries, no stress, man. If you're having the same spending habits, you're going to be stuck in that same boat. And that's a very deep hole we can get into for another video. But with that being said, man, being broke, other things is going to teach you, man. It's going to definitely, it's going to build confidence. It's going to make you be more independent. It's all together, man. At the end of this, it's going to make you into a better person. Now, what do I mean by it's going to make you more confident? Now, the very first time I moved out and, you know, I didn't have the money to pay rent. I had to sell my phone. That was very tragic. I uh, didn't want to ask nobody for money. Just, I wasn't confident with my money situation. And I wasn't confident that I could go out and get you know, a larger amount of money. I wasn't confident that I can take these risks. I just wasn't confident in myself, in myself overall talking about money. Now, with that being said, when you already go through these setbacks and you already know, okay, this is going to happen, but after the end of this, I'm going to be smarter, more confident, a better person. Then that's when the confidence comes in. So now, that leads to you being, you know, you taking risks because nine times out of 10, man, you already, well, not, not even nine times out of 10, you already know how it feels to be broke. Anybody watching this video, you know how it feels to be at the bottom of the bottom. I'm not going to say anybody, anybody who's been broke because I know how it feels. I know how it feels to be at that bottom of the bottom. I'm going to say this, man, you have nothing to lose. You have nothing to lose. So when you know, and you know you at the bottom, that is when you take the risk. And then when you do come up, you're not scared. You're not scared, you know, spend money on investments. You're not scared to start that clothing business. You're not scared to start flipping things. You're not scared to take these risks because you know what it is at the bottom. And you know, it goes back to having that confidence. You know, you can get yourself up. You know, you can get it out the mud. And you can go make some of yourself and build that confidence, but it only comes from them setbacks. If you would never have that, I'm, I'm not saying you would never have confidence, but as far as money, as far as getting it on your own and building something up from nothing, you would never have that confidence if you don't go through shit. If you all your life, and I'm not saying it's, I'm not downing you if this is you. I personally don't agree with it, but if all your life, you know, you had things handed to you, you never really had to work for nothing, that first smack in the face, man, you're not going to feel like you can go get it done. When shit hits the fan, you're not going to feel like, okay, you know, shit bad right now, but I can go do this. I can go do that. I have the capability of getting some money in my pocket. You're not because you never had to go do it. So that leads me into my next point, man. It's going to, number one, it's going to force you to go even harder. When you're dead broke, you have no choice. Especially with a person like me, man. I, I done, number one, I'm a very independent person. I don't like to ask people for nothing. And if I ask you for something, I really need that shit. That's the only time I'm going to ask somebody for something is if I really need it. I hate asking people for something. And all men are like that. I don't care what nobody says. All men have that pride in them where, you know, it hurts. It hurts their soul. But some men just get too comfortable than others. And they just ask and ask and ask. I'm not like that. That's number one. Number two, I kind of, you know, fell out with a couple family members. So me... I don't have a choice but to go hard. I don't. I don't have a choice 
but to live on my own. I don't. I don't have a choice. It's either live on my own or have nowhere to fucking stay. It's either I make the money or I am homeless. And that's the mentality that you have to have. Make the money or you're going to be fucking homeless. That's that's the mentality that you have to have. You have to have that, that starvation mentality. And you only get that by being in debt broke. And when I say starvation, man, I'm being literal. I'm not being over exaggerating. I'm not being dramatic. I'm being literal. You have to have that starvation, that hunger mentality in order to open these doors, in order to go harder, in order to build yourself up from nothing. Because man, it's hard. It is hard when you your stomach is rumbling and you see people buying snacks. You you go to work on an empty stomach and you see people buying snacks. That shit hurt. That shit hurt, but what does that do? That forces you to go harder. And trust me, man, I done been through it. So I done seen motherfuckers with food and you know, it's hurting me. I want to ask for a piece, but I'm not going to ask for another man's food. It hurts. But you can either sit and cry about it or go harder, like I said. Now, what's going to happen when you go harder? When you go harder, you are going to unlock so many doors. And what, I, what I'm going to say is this, man. Any to, advice to any of, you know, a hard worker watching this video, man, go hard. Don't look. Don't look back. A lot of, a lot of us, and I blame myself for this too, we want to work hard and keep looking back. Bro. It don't matter how long it takes. I don't care if it takes a year, two years, a decade. I don't care how long it takes. If you want to go, if you want to reach something, quit looking back. Have, have some focus and have everything set and just go straight ahead and work hard. That is what you need to do because looking back, trying to see your progress is not going to get you nowhere. Sometimes you're not going to see the progress and that's what I'm trying to get at. Sometimes you are going to bust your ass and you are not going to see the progress. But I'm going to let you know this, man. It is going to pay off in the long run. If you stop looking back, if you stop looking back and you just grind, you grind, you grind, you grind, you're going to see, man, first it's going to be a small little dent. You're going to see a small little dent. You're like, oh, this is starting to pay off. And then what does that do? That gives you motivation. When you see that small little dent, it gives you motivation. And now you go even harder. But I don't want to get too off topic, man. This might be a long video. I don't know. But y'all going to watch it because it's a banger. That is going to open so many doors for you in... Most of my subscribers know this, but a new person watching this video, my job, my main job, mind you, didn't have not. I was training people on the side, but it wasn't really. My main source of income was my job. Mind you, working 60, 70, you know, 50, 40 hours a week, making money, making good money. Like I said, $1,000 a week. And they cut my hours, the 20 hours went to 1000 all the way to $400. Thousand a week to four hundred dollars a week. So if that man said they cut my hours to, you know, all the hours I work into twenty hours, that was my main source of income. Everything I was paying to bills, rent, food was coming from that. So when that stopped, when I was getting all that money, when that stopped, okay, now everything else stopped. Maybe I can't buy some food. Maybe you know some bills won't be getting paid. I have to pick and choose what bills get paid now what i've learned from that situation and i do not regret it not one bit i think about it at first i was mad but now i don't regret it because i opened up so many doors for myself and seen so many opportunities that i would never see if i kept making that thousand dollars a week so that's the next benefit it's going to open up so many doors for you because when you're getting paid, let's say you're making a thousand dollars a week, like I was getting paid, you're comfortable. You're comfortable with that job. It's paying all your bills. You might have some money left over, so you're not thinking 
about other ways to get money. You, you, it goes back to that starvation mentality. You're not thinking of other ways to get money. So when that job puts you in a chokehold, now your whole lifestyle goes down. So I want to say out of all this, man, this is probably to me one of the most important lessons I learned, man. And I want to say this: do what you can handle. But to me personally, I feel like you know too much is never enough, man. I have as many sources of income that you can handle. But me personally, I want three, maybe five the max. Not, not hell no, not three. I want five sources of income, not sources. I keep saying sources, five streams of income. And like I said, too much is never too, too much as long as you can handle it. But that's what it taught me to open doors for myself because at the end of the day, you're the only person who can look out for yourself, who cares about yourself, who you can trust. You're the only person. Why are you trusting that manager with your whole life, man? Why are you trusting that boss with your whole life? Make doors for yourself and open up doors for yourself so it can lead to new opportunities. And you can make way more money because when you do that, it's not a limit. I don't think people realize that when you do those type of things, it is not a limit to the amount of money you can make. Nobody's going to come in and stop you and say, oh, you can't make that amount of money. Oh, I'm going to cut your hours. Oh, no, they can't do that. Now, taxes, but then you got write-offs. That's all another story. But when you're at a job, man, and people going to say, oh, what about overtime, Tavon? What about overtime, TMW? Eventually, they're going to cut that off, and eventually, it's going to take too much. It's going to take too much of your time, and it's going to cut you know, too deep into what they got going on. So they're going to cut you. The The max at that job might be 100K a year, and you just don't trust yourself. You don't have the confidence. You don't have that hunger mentality to make something on your own. This is a big one, man. Being broke is going to teach you how to be calm and how to handle situations. Kind of goes hand in hand with the confidence. And I want to say this, man. It will teach you how to not take things for granted. So we're going to get into those things. I was just looking at my list real quick. So it will teach you how to stay calm because... When you're in those stressful situations, when I couldn't pay my rent, when I couldn't do this, when I couldn't do that, you have no choice but to, you know, think positive and be calm. I think it was yesterday, man, I listened to the song, Don't Worry, Be Happy, and he was talking some real shit in that song. Don't take things for granted. Don't take the small things for granted, man. If you are at work and you can work as many hours as you can, don't take that shit for granted because they can take that shit away from you. Do not take the the little things and the small things in life for granted. And I want to say this, man. Stay calm in all of the stressful situations. And this is what being dead broke is going to teach you. It's going to teach you how to get out of that mud. Because you know how it is from the bottom and you know how to get out. And when you can't pay something, you're not anxious, you're not moving all over the place. You know what you need to do and you know what to get done. I know what I need to get done. You need to know what you need to get done. And how to handle those stressful situations because I'm going to tell you this. Any situation that you in, being emotional, being all over the place is not going to end well for you. The, the decisions that you make off of those emotions are not going to end well. So if that being said, being dead broke is going to teach you how to stay calm and have a positive mindset because truth be told, man, that is the only way you are going to see the light at the end of the tunnel. That's the only way. It's either going to make or break you. So, I want to see if I got all the things on here, man. Like I said, this was a banger. Really wanted to make this video. And when, I'm going to end the video off with this, man. When you're dead broke, and this is, you know, one of the main summaries I wanted to put in this video, too, that I got my notes. When you are dead broke, 
That is your true colors. That's who you are truly are. I ain't said it right. That's who you truly are. When you're dead broke and you can't pay something and you're angry because you can't pay a bill, how are you gonna react? Are you gonna go out and steal? Are you gonna go out and rob? You know, you might be angry. You might be sad. Are you gonna, you know, do those things? Or are you gonna do another thing? Are you gonna, you know, lay, lay in bed and just let life just keep socking you in the mouth? Because if you let life keep smacking you in the face like a little bitch, it's gonna keep smacking you in the face over and over and over and over again. Because those are the lessons it is trying to teach you. You know, I told this to my subscribers, man. I could have went back home. It was literally my first month moving into my apartment. Didn't have the money. Wasn't making smart money decisions. Didn't have the money when it came right. When when it came time. And I could have went home. Couldn't got, you know, an eviction on my record and went back home and had to deal with all the BS that I didn't want to deal with and be right back at level zero. But knowing that I was going to go back there motivated me to get out that situation. So when you, when all the bad shit and all the hard times come to you, that is when you see your true colors. You don't see your true colors when you're making a thousand dollars a week. You don't see your true colors when you're the happiest person you ever been in your life. You don't see your true colors then. So I'm going to end the video with that, man.